What is up guys, Hugo the Cat, back here with the Brawl Stars video, and today, we're starting a new series, to comment down below if you like it or not, this series is gonna be called Brawl, St Brawl Strategies with Hugo the Cat, yes, in this first one is Bounty, now I love Bounty, it's possibly my favorite mode to play, and probably one of my best modes, and so, let's start with this, the best the comps to use for this land or hoy map is simple. Use a um, thrower, bodily, or dynamite. Preferably go here and stay in this area right here. Therefore, you can shoot off into the center here and prevent them from coming into this single area right here. Now, don't use tick. Tick could be good, but then whenever someone brawl tries pressuring here, it's kind of difficult for you to save it. The next ball to use is it's change the color to blue. If for a sniper, you can use Piper with ambush star power or bra with incendiary or whatever star power for bra. So when you go here, you're gonna go shoot into this area, this area, and this area, this entire general area. So they prevent them from coming close to you and pressuring you. And if this, if you this throw it right here throws and prevents brawlers from getting past this point and this sniper prevents brawlers from getting past this point you get that first star which is critical because that, that, that star can make a difference in the game now the other brawler, brawler that, sh that should be used is Mr. P or Penny they can attack in this area right here so the brawler does not manage to another team does not manage to kill your, t your team very easily and once they have control of that this penny does not linger right here while the brock does linger in this area and dynamite lingers here the penny or this debut does not they stay up right here so they can attack inwards as a result the enemy should not pass the threshold of here here and here Penny and Mr. P can deal with them once they here. These are the three choke points that should not be crossed. Now this looks like a mess, but this is just a beast trap. And especially for Dyna, if you go past here, no, if you, if you go past here, the the sniper or dynamite or whatever that's right here trying to take care of you, you can get easily killed, and then they can break this rank and go and attack. Now, that can, can be difficult, however, if it comes to bounty, do not be aggressive. Do not go past these choke points unless you have of your teammates spawning. And definitely, do not at all costs go past this, these two checkpoints, because these check these points here, because if you do, they can, you die and you, so you kill them. They spawn back and easily kill you. Unless, of course, you have Brock's gadget and you're here and you're doing damage. You kill someone, get out of here, and it's good. You're in and out, no death, no worry about spawn. But that's about it. So the ideal comp is Dynamite or Bodily because they can both prevent a Mortis or Brock or whoever is trying to attack. They can prevent them from crossing this checkpoint. Well, a Tick does not. So tick should not be used here even though he is good at uh, like making balls to prevent them from reaching your side it once close range it's not that good now Brock Piper here as I said before and Mr. P now this may be a big mess like I said before but this will ensure that you will clutch a dub in Land Ahoy for bounty as book plenty of times you see my clip game clip from some time back in the tournament that I think I showed on YouTube, this strategy worked perfectly for us then, and we just clutched up. And also, last 30 seconds, last few seconds, and you are behind, you kind of want to push a bit, except here does not really matter. Actually, it still, it still matters here, but you start pushing up here, up here, 
and so the, the dynamite you get you attack them right here they try running backwards same with penny and rock now penny the turret don't you put your turret right here put it about right here or if you want to put it around back here because if you put it here this the oncoming teams um dynamite or whatever it's going to be here is going to throw his, di his dynamite, sti dynamite sticks and destroy that turret easily. While if you put it here, the range is still good, and you will not have to deal with the dynamite. You will not have to worry about the dynamite destroying that turret easily. Now this is the top top, top tips with me. This is the best trash that works for Lando Hoy. And if you like this video, please leave a like. Comment down below and be sure to subscribe for more content like this. And without further ado, peace! And for this video, I just wanted to show you this quick match from the tournament sometime back. Is The link to this video will be in the description below. Be sure to check it out. Now, this is how it's going to ha happen. He's saying hi to God here. He's using his um, PSP, making sure they don't pass that check mark. I'm making sure the pipe does not go into the center while the other private teammate is just saying instead of waiting for them to come close to enough so they can shoot i prevented them from coming so then the our piper just stole that um star which is beneficial in this game and so i'm just giving an attack and i kill that piper easily because i because they um cause i'm just checking the entire area now see how this dynamite is coming close to me i he does end up killing me but my teammate here is coming backwards to help me and then, now that they're not going on this right side, they're just staying on this left side, which is not a good thing on their part. I unfortunately opened this up, but I just keep on staying on my side, trying to prevent this um, pipe from doing any damage. He, they do snipe me. It's not that good, but right now, very good play by the Mr. P. Now, we are on the, we are just getting pushed back, even though we, they're not pushing at us. So we just go straight up. Now, this Mr. P has long range. Now that most of this area is opened up, he has long range. And I'm just slowly taking my position back as the what as my control increases on this map. Now I'm just gonna. It's 8A eight, eight right now. It's gonna be very close. I shoot in front of them to prevent, from, prevent them from coming close to me while, not, while also not allowing myself to get hit by the shots. 15 seconds left, 14, 13, 12, it's very close now, um, no name is on the other side of the base, sniping inwards, and, um, say how to got has this shot, but then I usually still mess it down, because I've been attacking there, and that's how I managed to snag this victory here, and yeah, pretty much.